Welcome outside. When Mardi Gras was canceled last year because of the pandemic, people got creative by decorating their homes, yards, and porches all in the spirit of Mardi Gras. It's known as the Mobile Porch Parade, and it continues this year and is also helping others in the process. We have Suzanne, Jules, and Kevin here to talk to us about it this morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thanks so much for being here. Uh, yeah, last year, so many people, including myself, were so excited about the Porch Parade. It kind of just had this feeling that it kind of saved Mardi Gras on the Porch City despite the pandemic. Tell the folks about the Porch Parade. Yeah, so, um, I mean, Mardi Gras as a whole is like an inclusive event, right? Sure. So um, I felt like we really needed something last year that everybody could participate in and feel like they were celebrating Mardi Gras since right. the traditional pr parades weren't around. So um, the Porch Parade is basically we release a map, which we released last Friday, mm -hmm. and it has 150, over 150 houses on it. And these are houses that people have decorated um, in the Mardi Gras spirit. So, And it's great to go downtown and walk around. You're seeing some of the video. Uh, there was where yeah. the uh, wild things are. That was a classic house last year. Cool. But I took my family out, my two kids, my wife. We went and walked around downtown last year, and it was fantastic. Do you think there's more involvement this year about the same? Less? How's it looking this year? Well, so what's cool about this year is there's more businesses that mm -hmm. are involved. Um, I would say most of um, people that are involved are concentrated more downtown and in mm -hmm. Oakley and in Midtown. Down, but we've got people all the way super far out in West Mobile, so um, it's just a, another way to like add to the festivities, you know. So let's talk a little bit about the core project, which is involved. Tell us yes. about that. All right, so the core project opened in 2020, mm -hmm. um, and we are a program that serves kids um, and adults with autism um, and other disabilities with special needs in our community. And our goal is to connect with other resources in our community to build just a better home for our for our kids, for our families, and for for each other. So how does this play in with the porch parade? Well, go ahead. Yeah, so um, we want to use this time to really highlight um, a nonprofit that's doing uh, work in our community. So last year we had two, and this year we opened the vote to um, to all of our porch paraders and to the public, and we had over 800 votes, and um, they wanted to support the core project this year. So if you're enjoying the map and you're mm -hmm. out and about um, and you want to do something that gives back to our community we've got um, we've got an Amazon wish list that, that of Perfect. stuff they need at their centers um, and we also have uh, just a donate if you want to just donate um, on pay, through PayPal and we mentioned Kevin is here Kevin is a part of the poor of the core project Kevin good morning to you good morning thank you so much for being here do you enjoy the core project yes What's your favorite part about it? Learning. Learning. Definitely. Very cool. And also, Kevin, we need to wish you a happy 21st birthday. We understood it was a big one last week. <laughs> happy birthday to you as well. Happy and birthday. You, guys, you were telling us how Braided River Brewing Company was involved with that, too. Yeah, so Braided River has actually launched um, an All Good Days beer um, mm -hmm. for their uh, launch, which has been e extremely cool to see. And we got right. to take Kevin mm -hmm. down last week. and. I think it went live Friday, so um, you know, just another small example of how you know, a couple of nonprofits get together and make some really cool things happen in our city. So we're Absolutely. very grateful to, Su to <laughs> Suzanne and all she's doing for us. So. Great stuff, y'all. Come on out and support the Porch Parade, support the CORE Project. It definitely brightens the spirit of Mardi Gras and, and enhances the life of our friend like Kevin over here. Kevin, great job this morning. Cool. Thanks for being here. All right, y'all, thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait to check out the Porch Parade for myself. Uh, Chelsea, have you had a chance to go downtown?